right, sweet. We got my glass came in. They didn't say they said it was gonna be uh, June, but it came in. Awesome, awesome. Very very happy. Now I'm just waiting on the window regulator, or the, the electric window regulators, and I can throw it all back together. And then I got these. Uh, there's a there's a guy. Uh, I'll send. I'll put my link or the link to him and everything. His email. Just give him an email, and he sends these. Let me show you. Like, it looks so good. I I haven't put it on, but you can see the old ones. Yeah, now they have this kind of a little lip. I kind of like how that, that nice clean look. So that'll look a lot better. Let me put it on top. I mean, that'll look, that'll look nice. So, and he, he his packing and shipping on, every, on all these were top notch i mean this just looks that looks sweet so i can't wait until uh you know i want to finish the door and everything before i put these on though and uh because those will look really nice so yeah if, if you're interested you know I'll, there's a link below for him good nice quality it looks super nice so I really, really, really like that. And they kind of have the, what do you call it? The, he paints, they painted the inside. So they kind of offset a little bit. So I think that looks just really spectacular, real nice. Yeah, I, I think it was a fair price. And like I said, the shipping and handling and the way he packed it came in just, just fine. So. I'm going to put these up and away, my, my glass. I need to move it over here for it doesn't fall and break or anything, but get it out of the way. Um, and then the I'm going to come back and we're going to change out that PCV valve on this uh, for anybody that wants to watch me do it. So on the Subaru. Okay. What a good day. Right, so what a good day. For the PCV valve. That's what it looks like. It's a 19, uh, was it, uh, millimeter socket, 19 socket. And basically, you can just follow this hose down, and it's just down there. So we'll just pull this off and pull it out, and then we can just get our extension down in there and be able to just take it out. So, okay. <sighs> Well, that's all it really is it's just replacing it like that all right just take your big long ass extension stick it down in there there we go So, the way you can kind of tell, so that's what you're comparing them. So, see this one's still fairly good, but you can feel it. It doesn't move as good. Shake it. It doesn't move as good as this. Can't see how it catches up. You can hear it. So... You can either clean that up with brake fluid or brake fluid, uh, brake cleaner and try to make it work or like I said, just go buy a new one. This one costs, they're up to $30 now. It used to be like 25 or whatever. So now, but on this one, you want to put a little bit of, uh, you know, pipe thread just around the, the outer edge. And then that way you get a nice good seal because you don't want no air, uh, you know. Sorry, the way it's windy, everything's moving. But you don't want no no air, you know, moving between these. So you're just gonna put like a little little of that that thread stuff there. So that's it. So just like that. And the reason for the PVC or PCV valve is basically there's that little valve in there. When there's pressure, it opens up, you know, and it, and it relieves the pressure down inside the engine. So this will help with my oil leak because that pressure uh, in the engine 
it won't it won't be pushing everything in the you know uh, there, there won't be very much compression all within the uh, the engine itself and so it'll, it won't blow back the it won't blow back any of that oil so this is kind of the hard part getting back in Okay, so just to start it, I put it on my magnet, and then I just put it down in there, and I just barely got the edge there, so that'll work. Yeah, so now I'll just take this, put it down on there, we'll tighten it up, and it's supposed to be 13, um, 13 pounds, and the hose is still good, you just make sure you put that hose back on. You're said and done. <laughs> Getting the hose on is the hardest part. There we go. And we're done. So I'll just make sure that's really on there. That's all that's to it. Um, so underneath, I am, I do have a little bit of a leak. They're not lying. After I drove it around a little bit. Boy, the wind. <clears throat> okay, so let's see if I can get underneath here again. I know you really can't see it because the oil is clean, but it's just right up in here. And, uh, see it on my finger but it's just a little oily right there so what I think I'm gonna try and do is I just want to go along here and just tighten up this bolt right here see if that's any if it has any little play like I said just give just give it one little snug and maybe this one because all it is it's just barely dripping right there I don't want to pay like I said, that, that that amount for a tiny little bit of oil loss, it's not that's not that big of a deal. I'd rather just dump oil in it. So and uh you know. So we'll just do that. And uh we'll go we'll drive it a few more days and see if that helps any. And maybe, maybe, I don't know, maybe we could put some little RTV on the outside. Or the RTV on the outside, though, won't, won't hold up anything, so. But you never know. Okay, to leave off, I went and bought a little bit of this. I'm supposed to add a quart to four quarts. Just dump it in your oil. We'll drive it for a few more days and see. Uh, like I said, there was a tiny little bit, like a, a drop, just hanging there. That's the, only, that's the only drip I can see uh, for oil. It's not like it's leaking oil all over the place. So so we'll drive it for a few days and we'll come back and see what it does. Um, you know, for a tiny little dripping oil, you know, <laughs> leak like that, that should, that should cover it. So we'll drive it a few more days and we'll come back in, like I said, a week or so and see if it fixed it up or not so because so that's that just that little area i showed you before is where that that little drop is so other than that i'm not seeing any other oil at all anywhere drips so uh there was one bolt uh that was up a little bit higher from the initial bolts going up and it was a little loose so i tightened it up and maybe that'll fix it too maybe that's where it's coming from but it's coming right in that corner so We'll see if that fixes it. If not, like I said, I'll just keep dumping quarts of oil in there. A lot cheaper than 5,000, whatever, 6,000, whatever, whatever it was. So, all right, I'm leaving the, leaving off on that today. So this was just more of a review and kind of finishing up on the Subaru.